What's poppin', it's your boy TJ, welcome back to another video. Yes, today's video is how to flip a small forex account, and this is pure, pure facts. I'm gonna be using really, really small risks. We're talking 0.01 lot size on these trades. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you've never traded before, do not worry, okay? I will talk you through the basics of trading and how I actually grew this account to an insane amount. And the fact of the matter is, on this account, I've doubled the, the account with using really small risks. So technically, if I was to use higher risk, then I would have made so much more profit. But we're talking 0.01 lot sizes here. That is the minimal risk you can trade on the Forex market. And we're talking, you know, pennies. But somehow I made over £50 and I started with a £50 account. So I will get you into that video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit that bell notifications if you want to stay up to date on my channel. Yes, we're going to be uploading one to two videos a week. Basically on my journey or as a forex trader, I've been trading forex for about five years, but being a profitable trader for about two to three. We're coming up to the third year now where I've been profitable and been able to be living in my own house at the age of 23 years of age. So without further ado, I'm going to talk you through trading forex and how I flipped this account. Let's go, baby. A few moments later. So when getting into trading, there's a few things you need to understand about the brokers, for example. These are the people who you are trading with. These are the firms that you're putting your money into. And the problem is with brokers on the Forex market is they all have different spreads. Now, a trade could be in profit on the charts. However, your broker taxes you three to four pips of the spread which means your trade is not even in profit as soon as you enter a trade as well you go into minus now i'm not going to name certain brokers who do this because of the, i just i'm just not that guy but the fact of the marriage you need to do your research you need to get a full regulated broker a broker that has really tight spreads now we're talking one to two pips maximum per each position now you don't want to be minus you know 0.4 percent as soon as you enter a trade because then you're already fighting and losing battle in the forex market there's a broker called axi who i use who are insane you can go check out their rewards and everything like that all the certificates that they've won they are a fully regulated broker link will be in the down description you need to check them out click the link sign up and use them as a broker there are other brokers like rc markets for example they are also another top broker out there with really tight spreads funny enough i have a client who was on rc markets and got transferred over to axi and they said axi had better spreads for the currency pairs they wanted to trade which is insane that's just one of the things that you must know if you never traded forex before you know there's loads of brokers out there but moving on traders will tell you to use multiple lot sizes which you do not do and i'm going to show you this trade right here where i was flipping the account now this trade was running 33 pound of profit as you can see ladies and boys and girls the lot sizes are 0.01 these are the smallest lot sizes you can use. Yeah, I'm banking six pounds, six pounds, six pounds, and 13 pounds 50 from these positions. And that's because of the pips that I'm winning. So this trade right here is 120 pip per each position that I'm in profit. Imagine if I did a 0.10, I'd be up 60 pounds. And a 1.0, 600 pounds. The sort of money that you can actually make, I trade 3.0s, 1800 pounds per each position you're up. And you're using, that was like the minimal risk for this size account. Now. I advise everyone to use 1%. This gets me onto the topic about risk management. Risk management, every single person must risk manage. Do not use same lot sizes. And what I mean by this is all currency pairs have different value in pips. So you must understand that if you have a £100 account, you can't trade gold using 1%. You know, a $250 account can't do a gold trade. If you take gold, you're risking at least 2% on that trade. Say that comes in as a loss. That's 2% gone from just one trade. So do not trade gold if you've got an account lower than $250, by the way. That's a top tip because a lot of people tell you to do insane lot sizes because they want you to trade up your lots on the broker. Now, that's why they put you onto a bad broker with bad spreads. This plays a key fact in flipping accounts or growing a small Forex account because the fact of the matter is you need to be successful in winning these trades. You need to be making money. You have to make the money because otherwise there's no point in trading. Three days later. Fast forwarding on to the end of the day slash the next morning. Equity, £105. So that means using 0.01s, which is the smallest risk that you can use in Forex. I made a £50 account into £100 account. I've made a 100% profit using literally 1% risk on this trade. 
insane, that's crazy stuff. Anyone can do this sort of thing, but you've got to learn the Forex market. Now that's why, you know, I'm, I've told you about risk management, about the brokers, about, you know, you don't have to use big lot sizes to make a lot of money in Forex. You just got to hit the trades and that's just the key fact. 50 pound account, they'll be doing 0.05s, which makes no sense. You're risking so much of your account in just one pair. It's not worth the risk. Anything can happen in the Forex market, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing guaranteed. Even myself as a trader, I have bad weeks, I have good weeks. Last week I made over 30%. This week, I started the week on 5%. It, now, I'm currently, you know, less than a percent up. Now I started the week on 5%, now I'm on 1%. I'm not having the best of week. It's NFP week, so it's not the best, but I'm stopped trading now. I literally stopped trading. I had a really good end of the month in February. Start of March hasn't been the best, but I'm break even such small profits. Now I'll go again when the market conditions pick up. And this is just another psychological thing that you must do as a trader. Do not chase losses. A lot of people will lose a trade, enter again, lose that trade, double enter the risk, and then enter that trade. And then they'll just accumulate so many losses with big risks, then their account starts depreciating. And this is where people go running Forex. Now, if you want any help, just hit me up on Instagram, DM me. I got a VIP group with nearly 400 people in, making profit all this, all the time, literally all the time. I will show you, show you a screenshot right here. But yeah, hit me up. I will, I will definitely help you guys out. And I just hope this helps for the people who trade and maybe need to work on psychology and even beginners, just to give them a real insight. Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, BS in forex and a lot of people wearing you know gucci and all that sort of stuff and just faking it all and we just want to get down to the actual you know don't worry about the money let's just get down to the basics and how some individual who doesn't know anything about forex can get started and get straight in to trading it's been your boy tj make sure to check links down below there's like a free trade group as well click that i'll message you i'll help you if you're trading but yeah if you have enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and it's been your boy tj much love take it easy and peace